Okay, let's get into a very popular exam topic, which is AWS config. So it helps with auditing and compliance of your AWS resources. So what does that mean? That means that we're going to record configuration and changes over time. So as we start modifying the configuration of our EC3 instances, EBS volumes, load balancers, anything really, AWS config will record anything that was done over time and we record the configuration over time. So we can always roll back or see what it was a week ago. But the idea with config is that we can help record compliance over time and that's more important. That means that we're able to say whether or not the configuration of our resources is compliant with some rules that we'll define in the future. We'll see how to do this in a second. Now you can get your AWS config data and put it into S3. So as things are being changed and etc. and recorded, you can analyze all the data using Athena, which is quite a nice integration. Now, what kind of questions can be solved using AWS config? Well, for example, is there unrestricted SSH access to my security group? That could be one. Or do my buckets have any public access on S3? Or is my ALB configuration changed over time and who changed it and how did it get changed? So the really cool thing is that with config, we can track pretty much any resources in our accounts and view the configuration over time. So the questions really that can be solved is unrestricted and is up to your imagination and needs. Now, anytime the config compliance rules, for example, is triggered, you can receive an alert, for example, an SNS notification, and you can configure um, any sort of integration you want as well with SNS. So you could react in real time to these compliance changes or configuration changes. Now, AWS config is going to be a per region service, but there is a way to be aggregating it across region and accounts. So you're free to use it multi account, multi region. It is quite nicely done as well. So let's talk about config rules. Basically, AWS has a lot of rules. There's over 20, uh, 75 at the time of recording, but they always add rules over time. Now, you can also make config rules that are, can be custom and defined in AWS Lambda. So for this, for example, we can say, oh, I want you to see all the EBS disk uh, that are not of type GP2, uh, they're not compliant. Or for example, uh, each EC2 instance that is of type T2 micro is going to compliance, but otherwise it's not going to be compliant. So you can just have whatever rule you can think of uh, using AWS Lambda, which is quite a nice integration. Now the rules can be evaluated uh, based on two different triggers. The first one is going to be every time there's a config that changes. So for example, every time my ALB configuration changes, I want to, all my rules to be evaluated. Or also we can do at regular intervals, we want to make sure that all our uh, configuration is still the way it should be. Now for pricing, this is where it gets tricky. There is no free tier, so this tutorial will be paid if you want to do along, otherwise you just watch me. And you're going to pay two US dollar per active rule per region per month. And after 10 rules, there is a degressive uh, pricing, so you can just look online. So this is something that's, that matters because as we go ahead and create rules, then we're going to pay and pass the free tier. Now, what does it look like in the UI? We'll see this in a second, but basically we can see the compliance of a resource over time. So here we can see our EC2 security group, for example, was non-compliant on the 24th of December and then it became compliant seven minutes later. We'll get to see this in a second. Or we can view the configuration of a resource over time. So seeing how uh, an EC2 security group has been changing the security over time. And then finally, if we enable the CloudTrail API calls, if we track them using CloudTrail, then we're able to see an integration and be able to track down who, who did these changes on top of it. So let's go ahead and have a look at how config works.